Hello friends, you are welcome. This is Soft Raising. In this presentation, we are going to be configuring Tecla Structural Designer to start modeling, analysis, and design of structures. I mean, we are going to be carry, carrying out all the necessary settings in order for us to start modeling using this program, Tecla Structural Designer. And so, let us start. <laughs> First, you need to launch the program just the normal way we do launch other programs. On the desktop, click on the icons, right click and click on open to launch the program. It will come up to this page. So at this interface, uh, this is the Tecla Structural Designer interface. All right. Uh, so if you check very well, the first interface consists of ribbons. You can only have only three tabs here. Yeah? for a Tecla Structural Designer 2021. Alright, you can see the file tab, the home tab, you also see the window tab. Alright, on the home tab, you have the file panel where you can create new project, open, close, save, save as, alright? You also have the project panel where you can manage some other project model settings. You also have the setting panels in these provisions. This is where you can do your settings for your beams, your columns, and the, your uh, foundation settings and you have the material panel where you can set your material for concrete or steel depends all right and you have the update panel the licenses panel okay under the window as you click there this is the provisions you have the views okay in this place you can't determine what should be on the uh, scene view like this structure we are seeing the structure uh, the workspace we are seeing there this provision is called the workspace all right so you can determine what should be there like this structure now if i just click on this structure window it will disappear you can see now but if i select there it appears okay likewise the same thing applicable to this property okay the same thing applicable to this uh scene view you can see it here this is where you can change it successfully this is the scene view if you click right there it will disappear if you click it will appear all right and so uh also the tremble connect if you click it will also appear there all right but if you don't have need for that you just have to deselect that for now okay so we proceed okay at the bottom of the window you have uh, these provisions uh, by the time we create new project you can see the window will take another shape entirely but i want to explain this particular part very well okay here we have the load list all of this is called the load list <coughs> you also have over here the statute uh, bar in this statute bar we also have what we call the model view yeah by the time we create new project you get to see that okay i will explain that so straight away i'll go back to home and then i'll be able to create a new project all right so i'll click on the new right there once i click on that new you will have to give the program some seconds you give the program some seconds to load a new project all right as you can see the process is in progress all right so you can see now that a new project has been created successfully you can also see the window has actually take a different shape which i have said earlier that in these provisions you also have a, a model view okay these are model view as in different way you can view a model as you step straight away into the uh lesson or into the use of uh, uh, into modeling you understand very well what i'm actually meant okay so you can see the same content here or what you are seeing here is visible here if you don't want it to be visible you just uncheck them from there okay so having created a project uh, just the way we have done it you can't straight away <coughs> click on the file and then save the project all right you save the project and give the project a name Right, so you just click on save so once you click on save uh it will take you to a directory where you want to save the project so you can just give the project a name new <coughs> i just call it new p all right so i click uh, save all right you give the program some seconds okay that i've saved successfully okay so the next thing we need to do now is we will be going straight away to the setting tab this tab we are having here all right so we click right there at the setting tab what do we need to do in there in the setting dialog 
this is where you need to uh, set the available uh, the, the available uh, settings that is required for this program to work effectively all right like the code of practice you are going to be considered in your design all right for instance if I click here in the drop down menu you notice I have UK settings okay so whenever you set any code of practice you need to click on this active to make the code active all right so if you click right there you see it is only UK you have there there are no other codes but if you needed to change this code you just have to come to this import click right there once you click on the import you see a lot of codes here so I want to be selecting this one UK all right and then click on OK all right so you can see that I've changed to UK settings too so I just need to click on active to make that active all right so I go straight away again if I want to remove it I click on this to remove that if I want to rename it I can also rename this okay so if maybe the country you are you don't have the codes yeah and then you have the code data you want to add it to this program it is also possible it is also possible that you can't add it effectively what do you do you use this provision open folder if you take you to the directory where those data is then you can load it into the program and be able to use the code effectively the code data effectively for your design all right that is it we'll go to the general tab click on the general tab and so the the english you are considering is the uh you have united kingdom and united states you can choose any of that all right the next place that is very important we want to touch is the unit you click on the unit there you will notice that uh, you have a you have a a unit system to be matric you can change it to be us customary imperial depends on what you want to do so you can see uh, the precision is two this precision simply means the number of decimal places okay so you can change that depends if you want your decimal places to be three two you can change that accordingly and also uh, the uh, the unit is a meter you can change it to centimeter or to millimeter using these uh, provisions all right so that is it we want to get out of, out of this uh, uh, place now i'll go straight away to the design code click right there once you click on the design code uh, the content will come up just like this all right so you can see the code presently is the united kingdom uh, euro codes all right and so you can change that as well if you don't want to use this code maybe you are not familiar with this code click in the drop down menu you go straight away to united kingdom bs code select that successfully okay everything has changed okay the configuration in progress we move straight away to design setting click on that design setting and then on that design setting you can see steel and concrete and in general you want to go straight away to concrete and then click on it to expand that then on the beam what you need to change here if you have to consider a uh, concrete design what you need to change here is uh, the bar sizes okay you can see the maximum bar size is 32 you can change it to uh, maybe uh, you can change it to uh, 20 if 32 is too uh, much change that to 20 okay you can also do the same to uh, column to your stir up you'll be able to check that and confirm uh, the bar sizes that are being selected for that so that uh, your analysis on design will be within that range of your selection okay the same thing applicable to slabs and foundations all right if i should come down straight away uh if you check under the uh under this uh analysis setting if you click right there you can see the analysis setting there i want to expand this see the first order non-linear the second order non-linear we will get uh, back to this as time goes on in the process of using the program now if i should scroll down to this scene see this scene there click right there this is where you can configure the window uh, uh, colors all right using these provisions so i just want to introduce us to that but we have been able to uh, take notice of all the necessary settings we need to actually uh, carried out successfully basically the codes of practice the units and then the uh, beam as well as the uh, the bar sizes selections 
Another thing I want to also let us know is uh, if you click right there on the beam and then you you actually uh, try to check uh, this reinforcement setting detailing setting you can be able to configure your cut length and then the longitudinal bar cut uh, containment okay and some other setting the stir ups in that uh, provisions okay and so so after you must have completed all the settings successfully what you need to do is you just have to click on ok right for the configuration is successful right so once you click on ok all right you can just click on save to save the configuration and everything you have changed successfully after which if you check these provisions you can see the structural 3d and as well the structural 2d if you want to separate this you you can right click right there and then you see new vertical tab group you click right there it will tile it vertical but we'll do that uh, in a minute so what we need to do now is we want to start to create grid lines for our for our structure I will be taking us through how to create grid lines all right so for us to do that you go straight away to the model you go straight away to the model if you check on the model tab you can see various panels here grid steel concrete slab timber and other walls all right <coughs> we want to be created a grid line but what i want to tell you is never you be on the structural 3d and then try to create a grid line because it will not be prompting it will be prompting as you can see it's not prompting so you have to be on the base 2d okay structural base 2d, 2D just like that that is when grids will be prompting okay, and that is when you can be able to create grids successfully so uh, let us uh, start creating a simple grids i want to show you how to do that you click right there in the drop down menu these are architectural grid lines okay the second one is called the construction uh, grid lines all right so you just click on the rectangular uh wizard you can create grids uh using uh creating grid one by one but it is most effective when you use rectangular wizard and so we click right there once you click on the rectangular wizard you can see what has uh, actually shown here okay in this provision this first dialogue of the grid lines you can be able to set your grid colors like if you click right there you can see your grid color there you can choose anyone of your choice you can change this grid name it depends on what you want okay and also this grid level is at the uh base uh, level which is the zero level mind you we have not set levels we have not gotten to that stage okay and so at this uh first grid dialogue this is what you see as I've explained it, you go straight the way to the next uh, phase of the dialogue, the selections, the select origin. They said you should, uh, you, you have to choose an origin, actually. And uh, you agree it is starting from uh, zero, zero origin. Okay? Zero, zero origin. And it is good that you leave it at this zero, zero origin so that this will be your source of uh, uh, your reference point let me use the, the word reference yes your reference point okay of measurement all right and so we'll go straight away you go next you have the generate now you have to ensure that you select all lines because if you select x direction lines only you are going to produce a grid in the x direction only if you select y direction you are going to produce grids in the y direction only okay but if you select all lines you are going to be producing your grid lines in both x and y directions all right so coming down you see line stars it depends on what you want you can't actually uh, use dash line solid line for your grids you go straight away to the next okay in this a direction extends you have bars yeah you have regular you have count you have length we have directions here yeah? okay actually directions we are going to we are going towards x positive all right if you go towards x negative it means you are going uh, towards the left side of the graph 
okay but if you are going towards uh x positive you are going towards the right so you are going towards the right uh, side of the graft uh, so you can only use this rectangular uh, bars when you are having an equal spans of uh, grids equal spans of grid lines all right but a situation where you are having an irregular spans of grid lines you need to choose this irregular uh, select this irregular uh, bars in the irregular bars you, there's a provision for you to now provide the spans as in the spaces between the uh, grid lines for instance if i want the my first spe space is uh, three mind you everything is in meter my first space is 3.5 okay my first space is 3.5 and i do comma my second space is 4.5 i do comma my tall space is five meter let's just leave it that way all right so if you come down you can see name grid by alpha numeric okay so you just leave it the way it is all right click on the next mind you we are dealing with the x direction extent okay next y direction extent the same thing applicable here yeah? okay you just need to click on the irregular uh, bars and then you provide the spans okay let's say in the y direction we are having four meter we are having three meter we are having uh, 4.5 meter and finally we have a uh, 5 meter there okay after getting this set successfully you just have to click on next and you have the grid rotation the grid rotation is zero okay the rotation is zero and so you click on finished and give the progress on seconds as you can see the grid has been created successfully Alright, so this is how you can create a grid lines successfully using a Tecla Structural Designer. Okay, and so after you must have done this now, what you need to do is, if you want to actually understand how the scene content here actually works, if I should click on this grid and construction lines to uncheck this, you notice that the whole thing disappeared. So that is the function of the scene content okay if i click on there it comes back and also if i select any of these grid lines you can see it has shown in the property uh the property dialog here yeah? all right with this you can be able to edit and change make any changes you want to make to the grid lines okay also you can tie the window vertical you right click right there click on this provisions you see the window is tied vertical this is the 3d okay you can use these navigators to rotate your object either way all right top okay so during the process we'll be considering all of this in the program successfully and we'll make use of most of these tools and we'll get to understand the tools gradually okay so i want to actually I uh, believe that uh, we have understand to this extent as you are going to be continue from where we have stopped and never forget to save your project click on the save to save the project successfully and we will be continue from here this is just a configuration to start modeling in the next lesson we just go straight away into modeling creating levels and starting analysis and how to apply load as well all right so stay tuned and give the lesson a thumbs up if you have not subscribed subscribe for more advanced lesson bye for now